The volunteer army who freed Callus near the entrance to the walls of Megaholton were overwhelmed by the number of enemy troops springing up from the enemy stronghold. If this situation continued, the volunteer army would be exhausted and would have to retreat. Oh my goodness, I was expecting it, but when this happens, I can't afford it. What to do? At this rate, we're going to be really poor. Excuse me. Who are you? I am Yorkaif. I came here to meet the General of the Volunteer Army. I can't let a suspicious guy like you meet the General easily. Go home. You're the Volunteer Army General, aren't you? Yes. My name is Tristan. Tristan. If you don't mind me asking, is your real name Ferex Tristan Zenobia? You. Where did you hear that? Don't worry. I was previously a member of the Order of Knights of Zenobia. You look a lot like King Gran, who I served you during his lifetime. You were a knight of Zenobia, really. Kane, you can trust him. How do you know what he's saying is true? Look closely. His manner is exactly like Estrada's. Once highlighted by Tristan, it was clear that Yorkaf's mannerisms were exactly like that of their master. In the Knights of Zenobia, it was said that when you become a knight, you are first taught courtesy and demeanor. It was not something that could be acquired overnight, and at that time it was considered a sign of knighthood. Prince, please allow me to join you in the battle against Balder. Yorkov, why do you want to fight with us? A long time ago, I could not protect your father, King Gran. Since then, I've spent my days drowning my sorrows with alcohol because I couldn't forgive myself. But I can't bear to die as a loser. Please, please, give me another chance to fight. Please stand. We don't have many people who know about combat like you. Please fight together with us. Oh, thank you. And just call me Tristan. Don't forget that. As you wish, Prince. I'm not a prince, I'm just Tristan. Oh, excuse me. Now, Lord Tristan, there is something I would like to say right away. You can't break through a citadel like that with the army you have now. Any good ideas? Yes, you are attempting to defeat the enemy who come out of the city walls while you wait for them to be exhausted. This is how you fight if you are leading a large army. However, it is not a good strategy when outnumbered. Then, how do we fight? All you have to do is make your enemies use the same strength as us. What do you mean? Space is limited inside the citadel. Fortified cities are strong if they are defensive, but fragile if they are broken by the enemy. But because of the walls, the places that can be attacked are limited. It's not so easy to break in. That's why we launch a wave of attacks at the entrance to the city wall. The number of troops that can defend the exit is limited, so we can break down the garrison with a wave of attacks and break in. I see. So instead of hitting the enemies that come out, do we push them in? Then we can break through to the Citadel. All right. Assemble an assault squad immediately. Kane, call Helen and Malcolm. I'm on it. Yorka, if you lead the troops. Me, but I'm a newcomer. 
It doesn't matter if you're a newcomer or a veteran in this army. We're always fighting with all the power we have. You've just arrived, so I thought you could make it easier. Ha! In that case, it would be a pleasure. The volunteer army's wave of attacks, which began with the advice of York Ave, ended in great success despite the enemy's superior numbers. The more organized a large army was, the weaker it was when it was divided. Hey, volunteer army. I didn't think they'd get this far. Is this a ruse, or are the rumors true? The enemy has broken through our defenses. They're going to attack here. The ex-general is rushing in. What? Go, go, bite, slash, and do whatever you can. You seem to be the commander here. So, you are the fools who oppose Lord Balder. Who are the fools? You are the one deceived by a fraudster. Apparently, you don't understand Lord Balder's greatness. Hmm. I don't even want to know. He is the Messiah who came out of the Netherworld to correct this turbulent world. Don't leave these insolent people alive. The moment Durham gave his command, the three samurai masters around him drew their swords and attacked Tristan and the others. But a moment later, Nana Star Tiara's spell was cast. The samurai masters, who were stopped by the holy magic spell, were met by Tristan's great sword and Cain's blade. With a single blow, the two samurai masters fell to the ground. That's it. If you surrender, I will spare your life. Surrender. Don't be silly. Impure souls, answer my call and return to this plane from the depths of the earth. When Durham casts a dark magic spell, a number of ghosts emerged from the depths of the earth and attacked Tristan and company. This is the end. I beg the evil power that fills hell, enter through the path I draw. Durham then cast a spell and began to draw a magic circle in the air with both hands. Tristan managed to stand up and threw his great sword horizontally at Durham. The great sword flew through the air and pierced deep into Durham's gut. Uh, Boulder. Master. Having lost their commander, most units of Baldus' army surrendered to the volunteer army. But the main force, made up of Baldus' followers, refused to surrender. To avoid a futile battle, the volunteers deliberately opened the exit of the city wall so that they could escape outside Megaholton. In truth, they should have been annihilated, but the volunteer army was so exhausted that it was impossible to fight. There seemed to be many Balder followers among the citizens of Megaholton, and the volunteer army did not seem to be very welcome. Tristan respected the feelings of the people of the city and did not allow volunteer army troops to be stationed inside its walls. Then the prisoners will be disarmed and released. Are there any problem left? No. What to do with the prisoners of war was the last issue. It's all right then. Let's disperse. Thank you for your hard work. The battle was tough, but the cleanup after this time was also tough. Fighting and winning is not the end. Do you want a drink? Sure. Come to think of it, that commander, he said something that bothered me. Balder is from the Netherworld. The Netherworld? It's a place where the demons were sealed in the legendary Ogre Battle. The Ogre Battle? 
It was a legend of humans and ogres who fought for supremacy over the continent a long time ago. With divine intervention, the humans triumphed and sealed the ogres in the netherworld. If Baldur came from the netherworld, he might have the same powers as ogres and dark monsters. If a monster that came out of such a place is our opponent, can we win? I don't know, but Kane, we have to do it. If Baldur is from the netherworld, he will cause many people to suffer if he is not defeated. That's right. We have no choice but to stop him. Having captured Baldur's army stronghold at Megaholton, the volunteer army resumed their march towards Baldur's stronghold. The next area to head to was the Chagall wetlands. <laughs>